gym is, is bubbling. I mean, just buzz, 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 wow. This event is probably the premier event for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and certainly in grades K through five. So we've got a lot of extra uh, educators from two states that are here for professional development and sharing ideas with us, and really uh, all comes together and culminates in what appears to be nothing more than a grand celebration of learning. Oh my goodness, I had hundreds of little bodies running around me <laughs> talking about bits and giggle bites and all of these different terms that no one has any clue about. But they did, and that was interesting to see that they knew what exactly they were talking about. I had no clue. <laughs> but it's absolutely wonderful to see these students come in and, and just have a wonderful time with using the technology and changing the, the world that we live. I mean, I'm amazed with how they have these, these tablets and how they're able to program these things and get these robots to move around like they do. That's so exciting. All this collaboration, they're talking, communicating, these um, real life skills. This is amazing and I want to bring it back to our county. Just the camaraderie, the teamwork, the pride that these little seven-year-olds feel is amazing. And I love the teamwork. The kids are super excited and um, they're, they're supporting each other, which I saw a group say, it's okay, like we got this, it, you know, we, we can do this, so it's fun, to, it's fun to see that. There are ways to tell children are learning beyond just uh, test measures. And so showcasing student learning by them actually demonstrating what they can do under uh, circumstances such as those that we create in a robotics competition, I think is one that offers a lot of value to us and really demonstrates that no matter where our children come from, that we're adding value to where they're going. The important part of being here is basically just seeing how the technology is used to help broaden the horizons of our students. I just recently learned that more than 30% than of the jobs that are going to be offered in 2030 are not even invented yet. So having our kids come here and actually be a part of something and build things is awesome. Through the activity of robotics, they're able to apply what they've learned in science and technology and engineering and mathematics throughout the year. It's also a, a way that our teachers can kind of show off some of the more creative ways that they've taught the core standards in those subject areas. Oh, we love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. It's one of those things that's completely changed the entire way I've taught, the entire way I've managed my classroom. And it's, it's made me a better teacher. It's made my kids better students. I think it's really cool that we get to bring what we know to help other teachers. We get really good questions. It helps us think about it. But it's just, this is the way we have to teach. And the learning that goes on. And the, the success. And like you said, to learn how to fail. Uh, there are adults who don't know how to fail. But we are, we've got a whole new culture in Moore County and I think it needs to spread everywhere. I love how the energy is, the, the kids are just so excited and the support that um, the whole county gives to the kids. I am looking forward to taking that, that experience to my county. I think it does show like all the good things our county is doing when mm -hmm. I know that. They're changing the narrative of this, but like yeah. that our county in particular, like maybe just like the teachers aren't doing it or our kids just can't. And I think that especially something like this shows that like that's the opposite. Like our mm -hmm. kids can and they are. And they're doing amazing yeah. things. 